Peggy 18. The one thing about Fall I've always done is really kind of had fun people acting in it. And with Fallout 3, it really continued. And so we want to make sure we're still doing that. And obviously, you have Ron Perlman coming back. Ron Perlman has been the voice of Fallout for so long, it was kind of like, well, of course, he's going to be the narrator. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express. It's nice to be working on this same character for this many installments over this span of time. The Legate is crowned as the new Caesar. We really took it character to character and just looked for who would really be the best voice for the role. The man who tried to murder you, who's uh, voiced by Matthew Perry in the game, this guy is the leader of a gang called the Chairman. Fallout is just bigger and smarter than any game I've played before. There's like just amazing amounts of things to do, and I like the idea that you can you know, sort of pick what you're gonna say to somebody and go on all these quests, and it's just this gigantic world that seems sort of endless. Like I said, baby, all Benny needs is a stealth boy and a bobby pin. The DJ of Radio New Vegas is Mr. New Vegas, and it's voiced by Wayne Newton. Howdy, folks, it's Mr. New Vegas, and I have a good feeling about all of you listening. Of all the things that I have done in my career, and I've, I've done one or two, this has been the one thing that I have looked forward to because it was so out of the realm of what I have done in my career. This is Mr. New Vegas wishing you ladylike luck tonight. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? If I find my way into a voice, an, a sort of a person will appear that doesn't sound like me and it doesn't think like me. That's always when it's the the best, because it surprises me, it surprises them. <laughs> well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Not too long ago, they took Nelson and Searchlight. They got some camps on the eastern shore of the Colorado, and the monstrosity on the hill across the lake, that's for Caesar. Mr. Christopherson, uh, who's uh, got an amazing voice, very thick and, and uh, gravelly and, and really fun to work with. Just keeping that dam secure and operational day to day is enough work for one person. Every officer I ever talked to, or any, every, every soldier, you know, it probably influenced some of my delivery on this. So this will be lines one through seven, and it'll be take one whenever you're ready. Rangers, this is the chief. I hope players play this game and I want them to be fully immersed in the world, and I want them to really feel each character when they're speaking to them as a totally different individual. Yeehaw! Ain't that party! Yeah!